a listening activity, how to work in a team. Okay, We'll be doing the listening, which is going to be with some video. It's going to be with some audio and some exercises around it. The topic is how to work in a team. Are you ready? Let's have a look together. Speaking and listening, how to work in a team. So this video is advice from Keith. <laughs> um, I want you to watch the video and answer the question below. It's what useful tip does Keith give about working in a team? Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Working in a team is about the three C's. Collaboration, coordination, and communication, and of course, a clear shared goal. I mean, if your team doesn't have a shared goal, then there's going to be disagreement and lack of direction. I guess in this case, then having a good team leader who can make that goal clear and motivate others to go, that is really important. Also, the team leader is going to create a culture, hopefully, where people feel safe to share their ideas, to be creative, to voice concerns and expectations, and listen to others with respect and an open mind. Fostering trust and respect is paramount. I think when you're in a team as well, you need to drop your ego a little bit and realize it's not just about you, but it's about working together with others. And that means strategizing, levering, leveraging the strengths of each individual and minimizing the weaknesses they have. So it's important that everybody is clear on their individual role and their role in the bigger picture. In some cases, it's also about active listening and being able to empathize with others. Finally, I guess it's important to accept that there will be some disagreements and that's a natural part of teamwork, right? And to be aware that you know conflict will come and that conflict resolution will come about through open but respectful discussion and communication. I think a useful tip here is to focus on people's behavior rather than who people are. You know, for example, saying, when you did that, you made a mistake, rather than saying, you're an idiot. Why did you do that? So always remember the three C's, collaboration, coordination, communication, and that clear shared Right. Interesting. Okay. Excellent. Good. Um, so lots of ideas have come there, right? You've put different ideas around what I said. Good. Listening to others. Drop the ego. Okay. Leverage the strength. Collaboration. Call it the three C's. Absolutely. Um, collaboration, communication, coordination. The answer to the useful tip though, so if we're going back to the question, what useful tip, hmm, to have a shared goal, focus on people's behavior. Focus on people's behavior. That was the tip, right? That was the main tip. Focus on people's behavior rather than who they are, okay? Great. Lots of you have got that really, really nice. So the answer there was focus on people's behavior rather than who people are. So instead of saying you are stupid, you say you did something stupid. So you because your behavior, you can change. Right. So if you say, well, you did something, you made a mistake, you did something silly. That's fine because you can change behavior. But if you say you are silly. You can't change who you are. It's much a much more aggressive attack when you say you are terrible. You are stupid. Those are bad things to say because you're identifying that person 
um, they can't change who they are. So focus on behavior, right? Rather than who people are. That's the useful tip. Excellent. Well done. We're going to listen again. Um, and this time we're only going to listen. So there's no visual, only listening, pointing to his ear like a good teacher. <laughs> and I want you to fill in the gaps. There are five gaps. So you've got a clear blank goal to blank concerns. Listen to others with respect. Listen to others with respect and an open blank. You need to blank your ego. Conflict blank will come about. Okay. So in the chat, you can fill in the gaps. I'm going to play it one more time and let's see if you can find these gaps. Okay. You can just write in the chat. Um, you can just write number one and the word, number two and the word. Okay. Listen. Are ready? Let's listen together. Working in a team is about the three C's. Collaboration, coordination, and communication. And of course, a clear shared goal. I mean, if your team doesn't have a shared goal, then there's going to be disagreement and lack of direction. I guess in this case, then having a good team leader who can make that goal clear and motivate others to go, that is really important. Also, the team leader is going to create a culture, hopefully, where people feel safe to share their ideas, to be creative, to voice concerns and expectations, and listen to others with respect and an open mind. Fostering trust and respect is paramount. I think when you're in a team as well, you need to drop your ego a little bit and realize it's not just about you but it's about working together with others. And that means strategizing, levering, leveraging the strengths of each individual and minimizing the weaknesses they have. So it's important that everybody is clear on their individual role and their role in the bigger picture. In some cases, it's also about active listening and being able to empathize with others. Finally, I guess it's important to accept that there will be some disagreements and that's a natural part of teamwork, right? And to be aware that you know conflict will come and that conflict resolution will come about through open but respectful discussion and communication. I think a useful tip here is to focus on people's behavior rather than who people are. You know, for example, saying, when you did that, you made a mistake, rather than saying, you're an idiot. Why did you do that? So always remember the three C's, collaboration, coordination, communication, and that clear shared goal. The answers, I'm just going to scroll down. Here are the answers, or scroll up. Okay, a clear shared goal to voice concerns, meaning to speak out your worries. We say to voice concerns, like to share, but to voice, to speak out your worries. Listen to others with respect and an open mind. You need to drop your ego, which is your ego is that you are the best. Drop that. Forget that. Conflict resolution. So conflict is resolution is the solution when it stops. Excellent. Nice. Well done. Lots of you got the uh, the right answer there. Very, very, very good. Well done. Your listening skills are excellent. Now, just to recap, I'm going to do a final one. I want you to watch the video again and just note any useful collocations, right? We've seen a lot, but any other, note any, any other useful collocations. Here we go. Working in a team is about 
the three C's. Collaboration, coordination, and communication. And of course, a clear shared goal. I mean, if your team doesn't have a shared goal, then there's going to be disagreement and lack of direction. I guess in this case, then having a good team leader who can make that goal clear and motivate others to go, that is really important. Also, the team leader is going to create a culture, hopefully, where people feel safe to share their ideas, to be creative, to voice concerns and expectations, and listen to others with respect and an open mind. Fostering trust and respect is paramount. I think when you're in a team as well, you need to drop your ego a little bit and realize it's not just about you, but it's about working together with others. And that means strategizing, levering, leveraging the strengths of each individual and minimizing the weaknesses they have. So it's important that everybody is clear on their individual role and their role in the bigger picture. In some cases, it's also about active listening and being able to empathize with others. Finally, I guess it's important to accept that there will be some disagreements and that's a natural part of teamwork, right? And to be aware that you know conflict will come and that conflict resolution will come about through open but respectful discussion and communication. I think a useful tip here is to focus on people's behavior rather than who people are. You know, for example, saying, when you did that, you made a mistake, rather than saying, you're an idiot. Why did you do that? So always remember the three C's, collaboration, coordination, communication, and that clear shared goal. Hmm, that clear shared goal. Excellent. Okay, so yes, some interesting collocations, leveraging strengths, active listening. In some cases, good. Make the goal clear, good. Any others? Respectful discussion. Yep. Make a mistake. Nice. Very nice. Their role in a bigger picture. Good. Also, Jeng has that as well. Great. Clear goal. Active listening. Good. Excellent. Listen, let's have a, a quick look together. Quick look through the full script and I'll just point out one or two things. Um, working in a team is about the three C's, collaboration, coordination, communication, and a clear shared goal. So shared goal, it's a nice collocation. Um, there's gonna be, <laughs> I should write that out correctly, right? There's going to be disagreement and lack of direction. Lack of direction, no direction or not enough direction. In this case then, in this case, right, in this situation, in this case, having a good team leader who can make that goal clear and motivate others to go, that is really important. Also, that team leader is going to create a culture, hopefully, where people feel safe, feel safe to share their ideas, to be creative, to voice concerns is a good one. Uh, an open mind, to have an open mind. Fostering trust, okay, so that's creating trust or nurturing trust is paramount. Paramount's a good word, right? Paramount meaning very, very important. Sometimes we say of paramount importance, but you can just say it is paramount, right? It is important. Drop your ego, it's a good one. Uh, a little bit realize it's not just about you, but it's about working together with other, with others, and that means strategizing. So 
a strategy as a ver as a noun you may know strategize is a verb leveraging the strengths of each individual so to leverage the strength to leverage is to make the most of to make the most of their strengths minimizing the weaknesses uh, their role in the bigger picture so often we talk about the bigger picture the the bigger plan if you like in some cases in some situations active listening is a good collocation being able to emphasize empathize empathize excuse me not empath empathize with others finally i guess it's important to accept that there will be disagreements that's a natural part of teamwork and be aware that you natural part of teamwork you could say will come through open but respectful discussion communication focus on people's behavior rather than who people are yes and that's it basically that's it i think those are some of the key collocations without looking too too much your voice is so low that's sorry because i'm going away from the microphone i'll try and get closer again um could you explain drop your ego yes um so your ego is your sense of self um it's basically your identity often your ego is selfish that you are the best you are the most important that sense of identity that you are the most important to drop your ego is to forget that identity forget you are the most important think about the team so that's the idea of drop or forget your identity that you're the most important 